Back when OpenAI announced the completion of GPT-3, their natural language processing algorithm that was, at the time, the largest and most complex model of its sort, just over a year and a half ago. Microsoft and NVIDIA unveiled a new model this week that they claim the world's largest and most powerful generative language model. At 530 billion parameters, the Megatron Turing natural language generation model is more than quadruple the size of GPT-3. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will talk about what this new artificial intelligence model already managed to perform that no previous model could, how it works in the first place, and finally, what this means for the future of the AI industry. The 175 billion parameters in GPT-3 were already a lot, its predecessor, GPT-2, had just 1.5 billion, and Microsoft's Turing Natural Language Generation model, published in February 2020, had 17 billion. A parameter is a property defined by a machine learning model based on its training data, and adjusting more of them necessitates increasing the quantity of data on which the model is trained. It's basically learning to anticipate how probable it is that a particular word will be preceded or followed by another word, and how much that chance changes depending on the other words in the sentence. As you would expect, getting to 530 billion parameters requires a large amount of input data as well as a large amount of computational power. The algorithm was trained on an NVIDIA supercomputer comprised of 560 servers, each of which had 880GB GPUs. That's a total of 4,480 GPUs at a cost of more than $85 million. The quality and results that they have obtained today are a big step forward in the journey towards unlocking the full promise of artificial intelligence in natural language. The innovations of DeepSpeed and Megatron LM will benefit existing and future AI model development and make large AI models cheaper and faster to train. Because of the availability of big datasets, enormous computing at scale, and sophisticated methods and software to train these models, transformer-based language models have made rapid progress in many natural language processing applications. To build a richer, more complex understanding of language, high-performing language models require a large number of parameters, a large amount of data, and a large amount of training time. As a result, they generalize well as effective zero or few-shot learners on a wide range of NLP tasks and datasets. Training such models, however, is difficult for two reasons. First of all, these models' parameters can no longer be fit into the memory of even the most powerful GPU. And secondly, optimizing the algorithms, software, and hardware stack as a whole necessitates special care. The huge number of computer processes necessary might result in excessively extended training durations if adequate attention is not given. Megatron developers Turing's utilized the Pile, a dataset compiled by open-source language model research organization Eleuther AI, for training data. The collection, which includes everything from PubMed to Wikipedia to GitHub, is 825 gigabytes in size and is divided into 22 smaller databases. Microsoft and NVIDIA selected the dataset, selecting subsets of the sample that they deemed to be of the greatest relative quality. They included data from Common Crawl, a nonprofit that searches the open web once a month and collects material from billions of HTML pages before making it available in a specific format for large-scale data mining. GPT-3 was also trained using data from Common Crawl. According to Microsoft's Megatron blog post, the algorithm is adept at tasks like as completion prediction, reading comprehension, common sense reasoning, natural language inferences, and word sense disambiguation. But stay tuned, as the model becomes more commonly used, additional abilities will most certainly be added to the list. GPT-3 proved to have skills that beyond its developers' expectations, including the ability to write code, perform math, translate languages, and autocomplete pictures. This prompted others to think that GPT the third of may be the first step toward artificial general intelligence. But, while the algorithm's abilities were surprising, they still lay inside the language domain, so that's a bit of a stretch. Given the tricks GPT-3 has up its sleeve based on its 175 billion parameters, it's interesting to speculate on what the Megatron Turing model may surprise us with at 530 billion. The algorithm is unlikely to be commercially accessible for some time, so we won't know for sure for a long. 
Numerous improvements and advancements across all AI axes made training MTNLG possible. For example, by combining a cutting-edge GPU accelerated training infrastructure with a cutting-edge distributed learning software stack, NVIDIA and Microsoft achieved unparalleled training efficiency. With hundreds of billions of tokens, we constructed high-quality natural language training corpora and co-developed training recipes to increase optimization efficiency and stability. The developers of the new model, on the other hand, are quite hopeful. They are excited to see how MTNLG can influence future products and inspire the community to push the frontiers of natural language processing even further. The road has been long and far from over, but we are thrilled about what is possible and what is ahead. Experts anticipate that networked artificial intelligence will boost human effectiveness while undermining human autonomy, agency, and capacities. They talked about how computers may match or even surpass human intelligence and skills in areas including complex decision-making, reasoning and learning, advanced analytics and pattern recognition, visual acuity, speech recognition, and language translation. They claim that smart systems in communities, automobiles, buildings and utilities, farms, and corporate operations will save time, money, and lives while also allowing individuals to experience a more personalized future. Numerous of the hopeful statements centered on healthcare and the many potential uses of AI in diagnosing and treating illnesses, as well as assisting older folks in living fuller and healthier lives. They were also optimistic about AI's potential in broad public health programs based on huge quantities of data that might be collected in the future years on everything from personal genomes to diet. A number of these experts also projected that AI will facilitate long-anticipated reforms in official and informal education systems. Nonetheless, most experts, whether hopeful or pessimistic, raised worries about the long-term influence of these new technologies on the basic components of being human. All responders in this non-scientific poll were asked to expand on why they thought AI will make people better off or worse off. Many people expressed profound concerns, and many others also proposed answers. The major themes they heard concerning dangers and cures are summarized in the table below. According to a number of the thought leaders who took part in this poll, humans' growing reliance on technology systems can only be successful if careful attention is paid to how these tools, platforms, and networks are designed, disseminated, and updated. Some of the most profound, all-encompassing responses came from, when general AI becomes available, it will begin to replace people in millions of jobs, such as drivers, radiologists, and insurance adjusters. In one conceivable scenario, Governments would give jobless individuals a universal basic income, allowing them to follow their aspirations without being constrained by the need to make a living. In another, it will result in huge wealth disparities, anarchy, and failing governments all across the world. The revolution, though, will go far further. AI robots will care for the elderly, Brown University researchers are collaborating with Hasbro to create a robocat that can remind its owners to take their medications and locate down their eyeglasses. AI scientists will unravel the mystery of dark matter, AI-enabled spacecraft will reach the asteroid belts, and climate change will be tamed on Earth, maybe by deploying vast swarms of drones to deflect sunlight away from the seas. Microsoft contributed $50 million to its AI for Earth effort last year in order to combat climate change. Consider your many lives. At 25, you were a climber. At 55, you were a competitive judo athlete. At 95, you were a cinematographer, and at 155, you were a poet. Extending the human lifespan is one of the post-singularity world's goals. Artificial intelligence AI will work tirelessly to keep you healthy. Sensors in your house will continually monitor your breath for early symptoms of cancer, and nanobots will swim through your circulation, eating plaque in your brain and dissolving blood clots before they cause a stroke or heart attack. In addition to finding you a partner, your soul band will act as a medical assistant on call 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. It will track your immune responses, proteins, and metabolites, creating a long-term picture of your health that will offer doctors a clear image of what's going on within your body. The team hopes that their innovations will aid in the development of existing and future AI models, making them cheaper and faster to train. However, once we step through this door, there's a strong possibility we won't be able to return. Even if we avoid the catastrophe, we will be altered in such many ways that no prior generation of humanity would recognize us. 
And once it arrives, artificial general intelligence will be so intelligent and widely distributed, on hundreds and thousands of computers, that it will not leave. That will most likely be a good thing, if not a fantastic thing. It's possible that, just before the singularity, humans will hedge their bets, and Elon Musk or another tech billionaire will devise a plan B, perhaps a secret colony beneath the surface of Mars, with 200 men and women and 20,000 fertilized human embryos, so humanity has a chance of survival if the AIs fail. So, what is your opinion on Microsoft and Nvidia beating the battle-tested GPT-3? Do you believe that this new method on training artificial intelligence transformers will lead to even bigger models in the future that could potentially even match the human brain's neuron count or is betting on expensive hardware the wrong choice in this matter? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.